Well, today we had the pleasure of inviting around 20 people from our countries of operations across the EBRD region who are interested in delving into how to marry digitalization, artificial intelligence with their ongoing mobility and transport projects. Well, the, the event is great. I learned about some technologies uh, like uh, drone scanning of the, of the ground for calculation of the quantities. We are trying to bring the latest technologies, AI-driven solutions. This pragmatic approach will be something that the participants can, uh, you know, can put into use, whereas EBRT can actually work with them and open up new opportunities or improving existing projects. The seminar has prompted me to kind of think about innovative ways in which we can better the activities that we do in the transport sector, such as maintaining our railways or the national roads and so on. First of all, drones. Uh, we are already using them, but mainly for the promotion and the marketing. But uh, definitely we have to use it uh, for the maintenance and for the operation uh, of the motorway. And I like very much the input of the different uh, participants and from the specialists. I think the aim of the presentation for a startup like Flyability is to make sure that uh, companies and governments alike are aware that these technologies exist, uh, what are their benefits, uh, what are their limitations at the same time. The event has been quite useful because it's giving us uh, ways uh, to think about using big data and modern technology and ways we can apply it in, in the transport sector. I think my piece of advice for the attendees would be that do not only invest in a transactional activity or in a straight line, try to invest as much as you can in the ecosystem because that's where the opportunity really are. It is good to come and to learn about the development of the software and hardware and then uh, how to use it. Artificial intelligence are not such a far way into the future that actually we can even now start thinking about the way we can apply it on smaller scale within the activities that we do. We got a nice overview about the support we can get with this new intelligence. Technology. New technology. Lots of positive challenges and exciting innovation. Uh, I would say the future is already here. 